a week ago i received a whatsapp message from an unofficial mentee who is like a brother or yeah sort of that always requests for my suggestion in one thing or the other and then i try to give my honest opinion and also inspire him to go for whatever he want to want to do and all of that but just last week i think that he sent a message very um like last two weeks but i did not see it so just last week i saw the message on my whatsapp and then the message says that he's graduating and he was inviting me to come and then he's asking for my um my support in cash in kind and in prayers so that's that's what i read and i'm like because i know that he's in the tertiary and graduation is always a fun day so <laughs> and i've graduated twice <laughs> i did not ask for any support in kind or in cash actually i didn't ask for prayer also <laughs> so i was actually trying to think about what is the support in cash or in kind i mean what, what kind of support in cash is he going to buy the suits for the graduation or the shoes or well, I don't know. And maybe, I mean, when you are coming, you buy something just to say congratulations or, yeah, you've done well. I mean, four years journey, three years journey is, is not, it's not, a, it's not a small deal. <laughs> it's a big deal. So I understand that in prayers, yes, it's okay. But in my opinion, even such requests should not be asked. Yes, in my opinion, but I this bring me to today's video, and I want to say something about this. I I do not say you shouldn't ask for people's support. There's a disclaimer: you can ask for support for people, but there is something I call social accounts. Your social accounts, and you have to be able to manage that social account. This is what today's video is about. So if you're a first timer watching this video, this is Personal Grooming with Grace. And please, if you are new here, you are so welcome. Join the family of Personal Grooming, grooming our soul, learning new skills, virtues and knowledge that will propel us to success and fitting into whatever um, community we find ourselves. And this, this is what this channel is about. So you are so welcome. Kindly subscribe. And click on the notification bell so that whatever video I post, you'll be able to see it and watch it. With this said, let me give you just five seconds to subscribe if you have not done so already. Now, you welcome to Personal Women with Grace. Today, we are talking about social accounts. What's actually do I mean by social account? Social account is where the transaction between the good deeds you do for people and the good deeds they do for you is recorded. That is what I say my social account. Social account does not really have any recorded account statement, but it is recorded on our mind. It is printed on our mind, not intentionally, but unintentionally, it is recorded on our mind. This topic may seem controversial, but it actually takes people who are thoughtful, thoughtful and intentional about their lives, to really comprehend what I am trying to say or what I am about to say. So, someone will ask, what at all? Why should you record your good deeds? No one is recording any good deeds, but naturally, whatever people do for you, you have to intentionally record it. For that, I've been saying it here over and over and over again. In your journal, in anything, you can record it and then show gratitude to them. What you do for them, you do not record it. But on most of the times, it is recorded on your mind, not intentionally. Some of them you forget, some of them you may not forget, especially when it is repeated. So that is where the social account statements comes in it's kind of recorded by its own way i mean you can remember um, a wedding you attended for a friend five years ago you did not intentionally recorded it but it was recorded you can remember that you made an effort 
to attend someone's wedding. I remember attending a friend's wedding <laughs> somewhere in the eastern bridge. I mean, it was very far from where I was staying. And I got there around 12 a.m. 12 a.m. And the, the, the route is in some bushes. And that was the first time I was going there. So I had to close from lectures. That was around 4 p.m. and took a car. I did not know how long the place was. My mom warned me that it is late, wait and go in them. I'm like, in the next day, the early morning, they are having the engagement and I do not want to miss it. So let me go and then rest and in the morning I can have my time to just dress up and show up. And I will not forget those days. I, we, were we were almost robbed in the vehicle when we were going on there because it's like just one way and if one car passes, the next car is like god knows how many hours the next car is coming so i learned that robbers are mostly on that route and they can rob almost all the passengers without anyone coming to just no car coming and it was so risky i did not know until that very day <laughs> you think that i'll forget that <laughs> i would not forget not that i have intentionally decided not to forget but because of the incidents around it i will not forget or it wouldn't make me forget because my life was truly truly in danger very i mean the robbers were chasing our cars with guns ak-47 guns i could literally see them while the driver was speeding to run away from them and it was it was i'm just laughing but that day wasn't a laughing matter <laughs> so back to what i was saying so there is a social withdrawal and there is a social deposit. When you do something for people or when you keep becoming valuable to people, it's the same as social deposit. And then when people become useful to you or, or, or maybe have a good deed towards you or help you do something or give something and all of that, it becomes a social withdrawal socially you have withdrawn i mean it may not be you asking for it it may be the person doing it for you but you become indebted to them and that is what is i, I term it as withdrawal because you are indebted to them <laughs> unless you are very intentional before you will feel that if you are not intentional you will not care because i mean why would they they are my friend you feel entitled and that is not how it's supposed to be but if you are intentional about life and about relationship you become indebted to people who try to do good deeds towards you who help you in one way or the other whether you ask for it or not and that is where social withdrawal and social deposit comes into play now there's the reason why when someone Excuse me to say, if someone's father's funeral and then the next year is a person's wedding, the person gladly attend, the next year is the person's, maybe um, the mother's funeral, I mean, and then the person have another important thing, they may replace that one with coming to the funeral because they will feel like you have, they have come for one, two, and then the third one, if there's another person who is doing something that is equally important, they may want to rather give their time or their resources to the person other than because they feel they have deposited a lot for you, especially if the relationship is, uh, I mean, mutual and it's not a very special relationship with respect to you and the other person. So that is how it is naturally. And if you understand these things, you know peace you understand that oh this is why someone will do this and you understand them so well you do not hold grudges you do not hold bitterness against people it's natural unless your relationship is so so special that people will stretch for you but if it's on the on the surface level i mean when people start depositing 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 and then um there hasn't been any opportunity for you to deposit back or for you to kind of give back it's it's i mean it's like you are indebted i hope you understand so why did i start with a story from the introduction i narrated the story because there are some withdrawal that is not necessary not necessary i repeat especially what um this gentleman is asking me i mean support for graduation how much will i send if i'm sending in cash and 
I even thought that he did not know that I'm outside my country. So I'm like, oh, sorry, I did not see this on time. But actually, I wouldn't be able to even um, attend because I'm outside my country. And he's like, oh, that is why I ask for support in cash or in kind and in prayer. And I said, oh, I see. <laughs> yes, he knew that I was not here. So he knew that I would not be able to, to come. So I'm asking for support. And in my in my mind, what is this support really necessary? What exactly do you need it for? Because most of the time, it's those that are maybe graduating from seamstresses and all of those people that we give because they are going to open maybe their own shop to. But for graduates who may want to get employment, we don't necessarily ask for this kind of support, which is not fair. <laughs> It's not fair. Yes, but I mean, you don't, you don't really need it. That's what we, we feel. So I'm trying to say that this kind of support, if I am to send, how much will I send? And I feel like this kind of request is not necessary. Can we leave our withdrawal for things that are very necessary or when we desperately need something to be done from people? Because when you compare two friends that you have been deposited for one for a very long time, and then there's one who has never asked you for anything before, the day that person will ask you something, you will be compelled, even if you don't have, you want to fetch for the help from someone to come and give to the person. Because this is the first time the person is asking something from you, you see. So if we keep withdrawing some insignificant amounts, Let's say if you have an ATM, that's when you withdraw, even ten um ten dollars or ten Ghana cities, they deduct like two cities. Will you always withdraw? Or they deduct ten percent. Will you always you will not always you will leave your withdrawal to higher amounts. In fact, I'm experiencing the same. Whenever I send money, whether big um amounts or smaller amounts, they deduct the same thing. And so I always consolidate my money to send it one time so that I'll do all my transactions. <laughs> I'll send it to one person for the person to do all the transactions for me. That's, that's how it is. Because I know that if I send whether small or, or bigger amount, there will be the same charge. And that's how we should treat our social accounts. What am I driving at? Do not be quick to make unnecessary demands from people. Especially when it's the relationship is not so special. Just do not be quick to demand unnecessary withdrawals. Keep your withdrawal for special requests, for, for valuable requests, for times that you really need this and then you need a person to support. But if not, there's no, there's no point asking for this kind of help. You know, try to rather be valuable to people, rather help people, rather keep depositing onto, onto people. And that's what I call the Jesus kind of relationship. Be valuable to people more than they be valuable to you. Always, that's a competition you should have with yourself and with your friend. It's a healthy competition. Try to be valuable to people rather than they become valuable to you. Because the more you 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 take and take and take and take, if you are not intentional, you will not care. But if you are an intentional person, you feel indebted to the person. And this is the same thing that happened to David when Jonathan was gone. Jonathan helped David. But after Jonathan was dead and gone, David still felt indebted. Why? Because Jonathan had been so valuable to him. So he had to pass on the, the payments of that debt to Jonathan's son, Mephibosheth. That is how it is. And we have to be very, very intentional in our relationship because if you are not intentional, you will not do this. You feel entitled. I mean, give me, give. You keep taking and you will not give. And this is where I bring, I close my my video today. Be mindful of your social accounts and and manage it well. Make sure that you are not having too much of debts and then keep on crediting. Be valuable. Keep being valuable. I mean, the higher mindset we should have is that even if we keep giving, 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 we will still want to give and not feel like, oh, we've given enough. And that's why I feel like the best version of us is the version of us that can love more because there is no end to loving. 
So when we can love and love and love and love and give and give and give and we will not feel tired, that is the best version of us. So let's have this mindset of a social account in our mind, at the back of our mind, and keep being valuable to others and only do withdrawal when it's so important, when it's so, so important. And not expect people to give to us because they have, no. You may have a mentor who have all their money, but the mentorship itself is something that it's a value that you cannot pay for. So don't think that this man is stingy. He doesn't even give me money. No, it's it's I mean, you are not entitled to it. Just the mentorship is just a huge amount he's giving out. So young people, let's groom ourselves in this respect and be valuable to people and try as much as possible to be valuable in our relationship, do less withdrawal and do more deposits and manage our um our social accounts so that we do not run in debt if you haven't subscribed yet please do well to subscribe and i'll see you in my next video bye bye